Hey guys, today I'll be doing a shooting test of the JJ Airsoft's VSR 10 Zero Trigger as well as give my overall overview and opinion of this particular trigger. So I've had this for over two weeks now. Um, I've came across some issues with it. However though, I'll give you my um, opinion and fixes for them. The first issue is, um, is when I installed the actual unit to the main body um, the sears and the spring eye stopper sat too high in the cylinder meaning that they did not engage and I had some alignment issues. So to fix that problem I had to lower the unit slightly. So what I did was um, as you can see I grabbed two washers and I added it towards the lower end of the main body and on top of the trigger. This, as you can see, with the white paper, this gave me around um, two millimeters gap between the body and the trigger, which allowed for the sear to engage the piston properly. Now, this is an issue with um, other triggers like you can get with Action Army, Lalax, PDI. Um, so, it isn't a big issue there. You can always um, either add washes or sand down the body if it's too fat. The other issue is um, that other triggers have as well as this is the trigger pull is quite hard. I know that the PDI-V trigger, which is the clone of this, by the way, well, sorry, this is a clone of the PDI-V trigger, um, is quite hard to pull back. The trigger pull is very hard to pull back. Um, little test, I've already cocked it. Let me just pull back the trigger. And there it releases. As you can probably see from my thumb, it is quite hard. I'll also do a quick shooting test now. Um, as you can see, I'll pull it back. The cylinder's fine, it's quite smooth when it pulls in. And the trigger's quite hard there. I also tried rapid firing, just to make you guys aware of that. As you can see, it's quite hard to pull back. So, um, physically, what I felt was the actual energy from the spring itself transferred to the unit, to the trigger, to my finger, which kind of um, had a little buzz and it slightly, slightly irritating there. Um, I am using quite a strong spring though, as you can see from the shooting test here. Um, I'm using, I do believe, is it, is it an M180 or M190 spring there? halfway up the hop up there, shooting around 3.30. Um, you wouldn't get that much of a hard trigger pull if the spring was lower. So bear in mind what spring you're using, um, it can affect the trigger pull itself. Um, with that, there is, an, um, there, is a, there is a way to fix the trigger pull. And you can always dismantle this and sand or polish the components inside. So where the um, trigger touches the sears, you can always polish the contacts there and this will eventually lead to a smoother trigger pull. Overall though, that's the only issues I came across um, with the trigger. Um, I do highly recommend this actually, mainly due to its price. Um, it is £33, which is around $40 with shipping. Great on free shipping there. Uh, that's almost, well that's half the price of normal triggers out there so like Lalaxes, the PDI triggers, Action Army, Spring Customs are quite expensive there. Um, this one is a lot cheaper so if you're on a budget I would highly recommend buying this. Um, if you've got loads of money to spend then I'll probably go with a more expensive trigger there. But this does the job. You can fix this easily there's nothing wrong with it. Nice, so um, thanks for watching. If you want to comment, then you can comment down below. I'll try to answer any questions you have. Um, if you've got any ideas on any other kind of techie questions or videos you want me to make, then I'll try to make them. Alright guys, thank you very much and uh, have a good day.